What's up, you people? Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. You know I do. Girl, girl, girl. Welcome back for another video. I'm glad you're here. You know you're my favorite. You already know that, girl. So in this video, I will be recreating a viral video. Y'all already know how this goes. So I basically find a photo, video, or meme that has been uh, roaming around social media and I try to recreate it. And so in this video, I'll be recreating the horseshoe. It's me using a flexi rod. But one, it knocks down the amount of time that it takes for me to put the rods in and um, taking it down as well makes it quicker and easier. We're gonna try it. I've never tried this before. Ever. And I think what I like about this style too is that anybody can do it because all you have to do is just buy skinnier rods or shorter rods depending on the length and thickness of your hair. I'm excited. Aren't you excited? So let's get this video started. Oh, girl. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. So my curl friend, Curl Days, aka Robin, she created a video that was popping, okay? And I want to try to recreate that, so that's what we'll be doing. So this is the style I will be recreating right here. Okay? And she calls it the Curl Days Horseshoe Method. Okay? It's basically a flexi ride hack. Okay, so <laughs> I got my flexi ride. The hair is already washed, okay? I know you're probably like, Janae, did you, you already said this early in the video, but I feel like I didn't say it correctly. So I had to reiterate what I was trying to do in this video. Okay, so got my flexi rods right here. And she only used eight flexi rods. So we're gonna try to use only eight flexi rods. And she has so much more hair than me. So my thing is, if she can do it with her popping hair, I know I can do it with my popping hair. All right, so that is what we're gonna do. The water is just everywhere. Clip this part out the way. So detangle it first, add the product, smooth it on out just like that and under the hair. I'm just still try, trying to obey the rules, but I'm getting hot like that. Split it in half to your best ability. Clip this out the way. Okay. Grab this section of hair and then wrap it. Y'all, I was legit struggling. Like, I was so confused. My brain was not connecting with my hands. But um, I did use a lot of bodies, wrap me foam mousse, and a little bit of the Myel Organics pomegranate and honey twisting souffle. So, what I'm learning is that I need to actually pinch it a little bit more and then add it and then just wrap it around. So I learned that when it comes to bending it at the end, you definitely have to do it on the side where your ends stopped. Because if you don't bend it right there to keep it secure, it's gonna slip off. And I also love putting edge control on the ends of the hair so that it can stay on the ride a little bit better. So if you can do that as well, if you want to, girl. So right there, added a little bit of edge control, and then I went ahead and bent it right where the ends. See that right there, girl. Okay, so actually, this was my first attempt, and as I was taking it down, one side dried with no problem. The girl that other side was looking how it was looking. Look at that. It was still wet. And y'all know I had somewhere to go. So I messed up trying to do this right beforehand. So one side was dry and the other side was still wet. And that was so sad. So I had to redo it. Now in this clip, I wanted to show you a more of a close up on how I did the top part of my head. So I just learned that if I go one way um, on the rod and then add the product and whatnot in my hair, that it laid a little bit better. So one side going on top of the flexi rod and the other side I'm wrapping it under the flexi rod. And then I secured it with some edge control because that just made it easier to stay. All right, so my hair is fully dry and it is time to take it on down. Yeah, it was definitely a trial and error situation. Um, I didn't learn until I got towards the front how to really 
um, put them on there and really get it closer to the root. So doing one side going that way on the rod and the other one going on the opposite side of the rod um, definitely helped it lay down better. We're gonna, there we go, we're gonna see. This is obviously the year of um, trying to master a flexi rod. And of course, if you wanna do it the other way, you can do it like this. If you. This is the way that I'm deciding to take it down. You don't have to take it down this way if you don't want to. This is, uh, this is easier for me, okay? All right, girl, so the hair is dry. It's looking good too, like, I'm like for real satisfied right now. So So if you see me looking off to the side, y'all, I was watching Living Single, okay? So that's what was happening. If you see me a little distracted, that's what I was watching. So I do hope you enjoyed this video, girl. Mm hmm Will I do this again? <sighs> yes and no, yes and no. Um, I mean, it was less flexi rise that I did have to use. Dry time was still about the same, but the takedown time was quicker. That is a positive. Comment down below if the horseshoe method is one of your go-to when it comes to styling your hair. Like I said, this is my first time doing it. Not too bad, um, so we shall see if I bring this back. My curls do look really good. I would just say that I need to take some time to master the technique and then I will probably bring it back. So yeah, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you did like it, girl, give it, get it, press it. Okay, thank you. Also, too, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Girl, you're already here. You're already watching the video, so go ahead and click that button. Okay, thanks. As always, I thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Peace. 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 Peace.